Okay, guys, before I go any further with the tutorials, there's one topic that is uh, really overdue and I really wanted to talk about it and I think it's finally time because we'll be using it a lot in the future tutorials and uh, I just wanted to get it out of the way. So it is interaction in between objects, word objects or any blueprints or any components, the interaction method between them. So uh, basically there's a bunch of ways how to how we can do interaction and there is no bad way except there is a bad way that I will talk about. Uh, so I want to go through different kinds of interactions which is using casting, even dispatchers, um, interfaces and components. So let's go through those four really fast. So let's just go uh into our examples blueprints i made an interaction folder and let's make a new blueprint class actor which will be called bp um cast door okay so we got this cast door and what we want to do is open it up and add a static mesh let's call it frame uh There's definitely a, well, it's not this one. Uh, where is it? Oh, it's here, okay. So how is it called? Oh, this is an entire wall and I want just this element. Okay, and we're just going to set this, great. And now we want to add a component that is this component so I just find this and add static mesh and call it door and just move it slightly and we can change the color like we did here uh, like this okay so we got this door now and let's center it out a bit Oh, we actually push it forward that's fine okay so we got this and now we want this door to just you know open when we interact with it so there's different ways how we can do it uh, let's say that the frame uh, is blocking all door is blocking all dynamic which is fine mm. Let's go back to our mocap character that I'm using. This is from the first uh, tutorial. So I'm going to place the door here mm, real fast. Okay. So we got the door here. If I start, I'm in front of this door. Nothing happens. Okay. So what I want to do is in this character, uh, I will do it in single player so it's a lot faster. Uh, we're going to do on F or you know what? we actually got interaction action input. So when we press interaction, we're doing a um, trace sphere by channel, no, not multi, uh, sphere trace channel. Okay, and the start is the um, camera component. So let's say we're doing it only from the third person camera uh, word location is the start and is the uh, forward vector multiply by because forward vector is just a normalized vector so it's from zero to one and it's get multiplied by the range and the range is spring arm length plus let's say 200 so 500 and we are adding to the starting location and this is the end point radius will be always three visibility why not uh, ignore self okay nothing else and if we hit something we want to check uh, if we hit an item and here is where the magic is going to happen, right? So we are doing this trace and we want to interact with the item. So uh, we want to have an event, custom event, and we want to say 
interact with door and on first interaction it will open or close so let's say that open is by default false and when we change this state we want to set uh, open to well basically not open so we want to uh, flip-flop this state so we want to change the state and we want to say maybe timeline uh, is going to be nicer door timeline and we need a float tracker that will be uh, open and the length is just one second and we're going to add a key which is zero zero and add a key which will be zero one I mean one one okay and we can make it more pretty by just adding auto here and here and just moving it a bit well, maybe like this why not so we got zero one in one second so on open uh, what we want to do is if it is open we want to play and if it is false we want to reverse until it ends um, okay and on update we want to get this uh, door and we want to add rotation to it so set relative rotation um, yes this one uh, and on update we want to set it to well we just want to rotate on the Z uh, so we want to multiply this by let's say 90 I think or maybe it should be minus 90 let's see uh, okay it's 90 okay um, okay so that should open and close the door and now we want to do this interaction somehow right so the first easy uh, method is to uh, make a singleton uh, actor which would uh, then door inherit from it uh, and when we get this interaction we're just getting the hit actor and we do cast to bp uh, cast to door wait cast to bp how do uh oh cast door okay so in this way uh, we have access to all functions that this door has so we can do uh, interact with door which we'll call this and it will change the status of uh, of if the door should open or close so let's see it opens and it closes it opens closes opens closes okay so this works and how you can use it is now you can for example make a child blueprint actor and you can say bp big door and uh, let's call it big big cast door and this is a separate actor that you already have functions from the previous one and you have those two uh, components and you can now change them to let's say we have this big door and this big frame so let's get this mm, let's set it here as this frame and let's get now this this is the same door yes this is the same door so what we want to do is just move this here and we can for example add another uh, component which is uh, oh you know what we already have it here so we got another door wait what no uh, 
this, this, okay, now. So we got another door, right? And we can get this material and copy it over to this. Mm. And what we can do is now we can say, um, we can uh, override the function. Uh, Okay, so we can override door finished or update function. And we can also override interact with door. So let's override door update function. Um, so when it is updating, we can get um, door timeline and we can get, what was the value called? Open. Oh, I can't do it like this. Uh, interesting. Mm. Okay, we can do it differently. We can just get this director and we can say get this director and we can get relative rotation and we can set relative rotation. And what we want to do is go here into viewport. We want to scale Z to, well, no, not Z, scale, I guess, X to minus one, no, oh, they're all linked, we don't want it to be linked, so one, minus one, one, okay, so we flipped the door on the X axis, and now if we apply Z rotation, we need to apply it in negative to get the same result. So what we do is we take relative rotation, multiply it. Uh, now we'll just uh, split structure, split structure, and we just get Z value, multiply it by minus one to flip it and set it here. So now when we open this door, we will also try to move the other door. So we can try this. We can get our new door. And we got this big cast door. Let's just move it here. Okay, and if I hit play, I can interact with this door like I did. But now I can also interact with this door and you can see that because it inherits from the previous class, it is calling the same functional interaction and I can add extra interaction to this specific door, however I like. So I can make it uh, a two-sided door and this is using the cast and cast is a bad method. Now, <laughs> why cast is a bad method? Cast is very valid when you use C++ classes. So for example, it is absolutely okay to, uh, you know, just get some actor like like this one and cast to character because C++ classes they are being compiled into the exe file when you make um, when you make a build and they're being loaded into memory instantly when you load the entire game which means that it's also super important to use soft references instead uh, inside them because otherwise they will load a lot of assets uh, with them now uh, if you are casting to a blueprint class, then this object is being loaded into memory on demand when you do that. So uh, it is creating um, a default object for this class and then comparing uh, if this object is actually this object, if they have uh, similar uh, features and signatures. And if it is, it stays in memory uh, until it gets uh, wiped from it by a uh, garbage collector, which takes just a, sometimes milliseconds, sometimes seconds. Uh, but uh, still, this is just uh, a bad practice. Also, you don't have that much control over it when you're using this cast method. Uh, because you have like interaction, right? So you have an event, you can have multiple events in here. So you can, for example, um, K 
custom event get uh, get info and you can just do print string uh, get display name wait just self as an object reference oh and we just can just do this get display name so we can also do this get info and we can say get info and this get info will display information about what actor we are interacting with and it will be different information for both actors so this is bp cast door and this is bp big cast door right so you can do a lot with this but like i said this is the worst kind of interaction that we can do so let's do something better <laughs> 